Whether you're looking for an alternative to Google Optimize or you're just interested in learning more about how to split test on your Shopify store, well, on today's video, I'm gonna show you what I believe is the number one split testing tool for all Shopify brands. What's going on everyone, it's Spencer here. And if you're new to the channel, I actually run a growth focused agency by the name of EZA Media, where we help multiple six and seven figure Shopify brands scale their sales profitably. And in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through my new favorite tool when it comes to CRO and split testing on our client stores and give you a live walkthrough of what the tool actually looks like, what some of its analytics actually look like and all the amazing things that come with this incredible tool. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so as you can see on screen is the tool itself and that tool is called Intelligems. Now, just to get this out of the way, I'm actually not affiliated with Intelligems right now, but if you do want 10% off, there is going to be a discount code down below for you to use. With that said, Intelligems, as it says right here, is the ultimate profit optimization tool. And to cut straight to the chase, the pricing for this, if you pay annually, is only $74 per month. And if you pay monthly, just a standard $99 per month, which again, could be cut down to $89 if you use our code below. And this is honestly all that we use for the majority of our clients that are doing basic CRO with us. But with that said, Intelligence has an incredible campaign and price and shipping testing model with their software that allows you to just provide ridiculous amounts of additional profit and help you grow your Shopify store predictably. For the sake of keeping this video simple, I'm just going to focus on the content testing plan as that's where I recommend all people to typically start. But as the new year arrives, definitely expect some more videos about how to use the campaign testing and the pricing and shipping testing tools as well. So as you can see here, it actually says this is best for brand brands or agencies looking for a Google optimized replacement. And I'll add specifically for brands that are on Shopify as I've looked at all of the other split testing tools out there. Now that's a bit of a lie. I haven't seen all of them, but for most of the big ones, which you probably know what they are, some of them just charge outrageous fees. And to be honest, don't even integrate that well with Shopify. But when it comes to a tool that's actually built for Shopify, intelligence all the way. Now, if we're to actually jump into the platform, you can see on the left-hand side that there is basically four little panels here. The home section just kind of lets you know what split tests are actually active on your store right now. The AB test section will actually show you all of the split tests that you've ran. And then if we jump into the actual analytics section, you can see this is where Intelligence just absolutely thrives. And just in case you're wondering, I've now switched over to a different client and we're just having to blur some things out here just to make sure that we keep our clients data and their information safe. Intelligence by far has the coolest reporting out of any split testing tool that I've personally seen as it actually shows you projections for the amount of orders that you can expect to receive monthly, the amount of revenue that you can expect to receive monthly, and the amount of profit that you can actually expect to see monthly. As you can see, this split test right now has just added an additional $40,000 per month in profit for this specific brand. And again, this is why I love CRO and split testing so much. But if we scroll down, you can then see the AOV breakdown, the total amount of visitors that have been to the page, the total amount of orders that have come through. And if you scroll down further, you can actually see the total amount of revenue that has come from this split test on each variant. As we dive in deeper, you can see again, Intelligence is just showing off as they talk deeper about your revenue per site visitor. You can see the actual profit analysis breakdown as well when it comes to cost of goods sold versus revenue shipping costs and everything else that is associated with this. And if you charge shipping, you can actually see the shipping revenue per order as well. Now, in this instance, this client gives free shipping, so it's not really useful for us. And as you get into the visitors tab, you can now see the views over time, which is absolutely awesome. And on the trend section here, which is one of my personal favorite, you can see the conversion rate and the average order value over time. In this instance, you can see our new collection page has just been absolutely crushing it for the last couple of weeks here and has been delivering some incredible results for this client in particular. And my absolute favorite part of Intelligems is it gives you a statistically significant board as well to have a better understanding of whether or not this test is statistically significant significant, which for those of you that don't know what statistically significant means, it basically just means the probability that this data is actually accurate. I always use the analogy of flipping a coin. If you were to flip a coin three times and it landed on heads every time, and then you were to draw the conclusion that, oh, there's a hundred percent chance that when you flip a coin, it lands on heads. There isn't enough data there for that to be an actual statistically significant fact. Whereas if you were to flip a coin 300 times, you would start to see that hundred percent of the time it lands on heads, start to even out more to the actual probability of a 50-50. Chance. So in this scenario, this client has a 94.7% statistical significance that this test 
will actually deliver that additional $41,000 per month in profit, which is pretty cool. Now, as much as I would love to geek out on all of the analytics, you can also add filters here to look at desktop, which as you can see in this scenario is adding about $11,000 per month in profit versus mobile, which is adding about $30,000 per month in profit. You can use these filters to basically create whatever kind of data that you want to look at. And for all of my CRO nerds, if you're looking at the core four quadrants, which is first time customers mobile, first time customers desktop, returning customers mobile and returning customers desktop, you can start to make optimizations and execute tests based on whatever devices and types of customers are actually converting. Now, when it comes to actually launching tests inside of IntelliGems, you can simply just click the create a new test button up here and it will prompt you with the four types of tests that you can run. Now, again, because we're only on the content plan, I'm not going to get into the pricing tests and shipping tests or campaign tests just yet. But just so you know, if you are interested in the campaign or pricing or shipping tests, the intelligence team will actually guide you and walk you through the entire process of how to set this up properly. I can't say enough good things about their customer service because I bug them basically every other day. So with that said, if we now jump into the content testing section, I can see a blue button here that now says create a test. This is where intelligence just continues to separate itself from all of the other split testing softwares because I have the ability to do simple URL redirect tests, which is what we use for landing pages and things like that. On-site edits, which is what we use to basically just change headlines or update an image. And to be honest, the intelligence team have been putting in work on this specific tool as of late. So you now have the ability to click images and test different hero sections and do a lot of on-site edits without really needing to know how to code. My personal favorite is the template test, which just makes it so easy that once you find a winning test to just execute on your Shopify store, if you're testing a home page, a collection page, or a product page, you can simply just split test two different templates inside of Shopify, get the data that you need to, and then simply go in the back in and update that template once you know the winner. It's literally that easy. There's also theme tests as well, which are super, super interesting where you can essentially split test new menus on your website without a ton of complex code, or you can just split test an entire new website if you really want to. It's totally up to you. The advanced is essentially where you can do a few different things. But to be honest, at our agency, we use the template test, on-site edits, split URL, and theme tests as our core four testing modules. Now, just because I want to keep this video super straight and to the point, I'm going to show you how to do an on-site edit test super quickly. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. So let's go ahead and do an on-site edits test. We're going to click create test. We're going to give the test a name. I typically like to optimize for profit, but you can also optimize for revenue or conversions or whatever it is that you want to do. You can also add a little description as well to kind of remind yourself what this test is about. Go ahead, click continue. And then inside of here, you can actually create as many test groups as you want. So if you want to test four different groups, you can, or if you want to test five, you can as well. Just keep in mind that you're going to need quite a lot of traffic if you want to test this many variants. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to go ahead and just do a simple a b test go ahead and name it by typing inside of here and for example say you're getting a ton of traffic to your home page or some page and you don't really want to see a massive change right away you can also adjust the total amount of traffic that goes to your new variant if you want to play it more safe but for the sake of this again i'm just going to keep it 50 50. go ahead and click continue now inside of here you can edit whatever currency or country that you want to target you can also optimize an audience so whether or not they're coming from facebook or they're new users or whatever it is you can optimize the audience section inside of here as well. You can also choose what page that you're focusing on. So for the sake of this test, now, as you can see, I'm just going to leave this equals blank because I want to do a on-site edit test on the homepage. So I can go ahead and click save. And now, as you can see, the page targeting is enabled to only happen on the homepage. Now, if we click continue, you can also plug this into Google analytics if you would like. But again, intelligence has their own incredible reporting. So you don't even really need GA anymore. And now if I click the go to builder button, you can see that it's going to pull up the theme for me to continue on. And when you load up the theme, you can now see the awesome builder inside of here and you have the ability to switch the test group right inside of here. And for example, if I want to enable image selecting mode, you can see right inside of here with a click of the button, I can change this image out to anything that I want. I can also easily select it from the library. So for example, if I wanted to test a version of just having Brad here rather than Brad and the signature and by clicking done, I can now see the difference between the control group, which has Brad's signature versus our test group that doesn't. I also have the ability to select any element that I want. So by clicking this little green button, I can jump inside of here, click edit text. And on this EAM test, I'm going to say, you know, Brad is the best. And just like that, I can go ahead and click save. And now again, if I switch between the control group, which says life and hairdryer and Brad Mondo, and then my new test group, which says Brad is the best, and it doesn't have his actual signature there. I can then also toggle this highlight replaces. So that way I can keep track of all the changes that I make. And then once I'm done, I can go ahead and click exit editor. And then of course, start the split test. So that is it. That 
is the tool that we have been using to help our clients increase their conversion rate like crazy. And if you're interested in CRO, I actually have another video coming out very soon talking about how we added over a hundred thousand dollars in profit for our clients using this exact tool. Definitely make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this week's video. If you enjoyed, I just asked for you to click the share button down below and send this to someone else who you also think could get value. And as always, if you're a multiple six or seven figure Shopify brand looking for the help of a growth focused agency, I'd highly recommend for you to grab a time down below and join our waitlist for the new year so you can get a custom action plan and make 2024 the best year yet. Thank you all once again for taking the time to watch this week's video and I'll see you next week.